The first step in approaching your concept design is to get a figure in front of you and figure out what the basic uh, gesture of the pose is going to be like. Um, so you just do a quick, small first observation, getting the essential motion and limbs in there. The second thing you're going to do is go in and figure out what the forms are. Um, you're going to have a bunch of ideas that you want to convey. Um, but we want to ensure that these are visual ideas. So visual ideas hinge on the things that you can actually draw. So we need to go in and figure out what you're actually going to be drawing. So in this case, it's a standing figure in kind of a, a prayerful pose, head down, legs apart a good bit. So we need to go in and figure out what our essential forms are um, once we get our gesture redone. And we're kind of reverse engineering an old project um, to kind of break it down and see what we can uh, learn from it. There's a slight elongation in proportions in the legs especially. Um, and that's okay when you're doing concept design. You kind of want to start to distort things. Um, your head, of course, is your most basic essential form. You're always going to want to wrap a hemisphere line around the center of the head to figure out where the eye line is. And you're going to want to figure out some essential basic features like the locations of the eyes and nose and mouth, um, even on a small scale like this. You can get more specific as you go along, but starting there is pretty good. The uh, next thing that you're going to do is uh, figure out the attitude of the rib cage and begin to fill that in. So. Um, the connecting point between the head and the rib cage, of course, is a, is an, is a simple cylinder for the neck. Um, and that's going to set up the location and angle of the rib cage. Is it, as the neck bends, that kind of changes how the back bends. Um, the rib cage is a simple egg form with a dividing line down the center and a little split to get you the, um, the bottom of the V there. Uh, after that, you have to work into the pelvis. A lot of times the pelvis is pretty boxy. Sometimes it's more um, cylindrical or egg-shaped, depending. But on this situation, we can really see the corner of that form. Legs are, of course, two cylinders uh, connected with a joint in the middle. So getting, knocking out these two cylinders is always a good idea. Um, feet, same deal. Uh, you can break it down a couple of different ways. Box forms are usually pretty good. It winds up being a wedge with a heel on it. Then you go into the arms. And the arms, just like the legs, are two cylinders. And all you have to do is decide which way they're projecting. And that'll help you figure out the curvature of the cylinders themselves. 